All right, praise the Lord, everybody. Hope and pray everybody's doing well out there in Atlanta tonight. It's our Bible study, pre Thanksgiving Bible study, and you know, a, a night of Thanksgiving. Uh, we wanted to just take a few minutes here, coming to you audio only this evening. And uh, if you could follow along with us this evening for our Bible study, I was just wanted to give you a few scriptures. You know, the, the Bible tells us to give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. And you know what? God has been so good to each of us. And, you know, during this week, just take some time out to reflect. Take some time out to give God praise for all he has done, all that he is doing. And truly, we are we are truly blessed today. Our, our Psalms, throughout the book of Psalms and throughout the word of God, there are stories and lessons about just coming back to say thank you. Uh, even it was ordained during the time of Moses' time for the children of Israel to always give thanks with a Thanksgiving offering or a Thanksgiving sacrifice. Why? Because of who God is. And you look back over your life, you look back over the things you've done, just simply the health and the strength that we gain from Almighty God, the food on your table, the covering over your head, just the big things, little things. The Bible says everything. We should praise him and give him thanks in all things. In, in Psalms 136, we'll look at this evening. It's about uh, 26 verses. We're going to go through it and really just a psalm of thanksgiving. The Bible tells us here in verse 1, it says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Again, he was just declaring that from the jump. He says, Hey, God, our God is good. Our God is awesome. We serve a mighty God, and there's nothing wrong with God. Many times there's something wrong with us. And so, we, uh, he says, give thanks unto the Lord. Give thanks unto him for he is good and his mercy endureth forever. His love, his grace, his mercy. Again, unmerited favor that he shows upon all of us. It endures forever. It goes on forever and ever and ever. Even the Bible says in the grave, even in hell, the Bible says there's a love that, that God shows to us. And you know what? Through it all, through the, the, the things in which we go through, the things in which we've put God through, if you please, the things that we've made God ready to pull his own hair out. He, his mercy, his love has endured forever. And so the Bible tells us here, oh, give thanks again in verse 2, oh, give thanks unto God. The uh, the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, verse 3, for his mercy endureth forever. So it was really a congregational congregational uh, uh, reading as well, a congregational reading concerning the mercy of Almighty God, the things of God. And so uh, it, it, if you heard about responses and, and reading and responses, and this was really that uh, perhaps a congregational psalm as well and so when the when the leader of the service perhaps was saying oh give thanks to the lord for his mercy endure forever i've been in services where uh responsive readers what we used to call it again when they would repeat his mercy endure forever before it went on it says to him who alone uh, do, doth great wonders for his mercy endure forever. So again, it was really just a repetitive type of uh, res response to the things in which we reminded of how God is. So again, he, in verse four, he says, alone he doeth great wonders. And you think about it, all the things that he's done, some things we don't even think about. Some things we take for granted, and we never should do that as well. But his mercy endure forever. It's nothing but God's mercy. He's just going from point A to point B sometimes as we travel to various things. You think about it. That was God. Sometimes, again, we perhaps can just fade away and start daydreaming behind the wheel. And you know, it was God's mercy that we were able to come and reach your destination. And just little things, big things in all of God. Uh, whether it's, again, God uh, keeping you minutes away from could have been something tragic. His mercy showed us uh, again and covered us along the way. Could have been us, as we oftentimes say. Number five, it went on, says, for to, to him that by wisdom made heavens. Uh, he says, for his mercy endure forever. Again, just giving glory to God for who he is. The Bible says in verse 6, he says, to him that stretched out the earth uh, above the waters for his mercy endure forever. So, again, it was a rep reputation. Again, about just all the things, the mighty acts of God. He says in verse 7, he says, to him that made great lights for his mercy endure forever. This same God, the same God that created it all, the, uh, we were reminded his mercy endure forever. Number nine, he says, the, the, the moon, the stars, uh, to rule the night for his mercy endure forever. To him that smote Egypt in the firstborn for his mercy endure forever. So, 
Can you imagine the congregation, or perhaps even Moses, or whoever uh, the leader at the time, uh, would, would maybe perhaps read this, or re read this, and, and so the congregation would repeat His mercy endure forever. There was a reminder, thinking about giving to give God thanks, how God brought us out of Egypt, how God brings you out of sin, how God has brought us from uh, the miry clay, how God has just covered you and your family, made provisions, His mercy endure forever. So again, you just really just a skimming over the top, saying, "Man, God is so good." God is so good. The Bible says in verse 12, he says, with a strong hand and with a stretched uh, out arm for his mercy endure forever. It's God's mighty hand. God's powerful hand that has covered us today. Number 12, or excuse me, 13 says to, to him would divided the Red Sea into parts for his mercy endure forever. Number 14, he made Israel to pass through the midst of it for his mercy endure forever. He was just reminding them. And you know, sometimes we need to be reminded. We got to remind ourselves. Look back when, you, when you're going through your life. Remind yourself of how awesome and powerful God is. He did it before. He can do it again. You can even give God thanks in advance. He's did it before. He can do it again. Number 15, he went on says, but overthrow Pharaoh. He's reminded him again for for in, in the in the host in the Red Sea for his mercy and do it forever. To him which led his people through the wilderness for his mercy and do it forever. He says to him which smote great kings for his mercy and do it forever. He was reminding Israel and anyone else, the readers here today, it reminds us. That God is a powerful, powerful God. And it's a psalm of thanksgiving. It's a psalm of praise and worship. Looking back, giving God thanks. And number 18, it says, It slew famous kings for his mercy and do it forever. And their enemies God took care of. God is an awesome God. Thank God that God takes care of my enemies. God took care of Lucifer. He takes care of, again, uh, the enemies that, that, that we face and fight every day, the demonic spirits that we face and fight every day. God is a merciful God. He says, And Shehan, king of the Amorites, for his mercy and do it forever. Og, the, the king of Mesha, number 20, for his mercy and do it forever. He gave their land for inheritance, for his mercy and doing forever. We were so undeserving, is what he said. We are so thankful that God blessed us. That's what they were saying. And you know what? In your life, give God thanks. God has blessed you. God has inheritance for us. God has an inheritance for us as well. And so, church, friend, family, whoever you may be, in this week of Thanksgiving, remember to always look back at the goodness of Almighty God. Number 22 says, uh, even inheritance in, unto Israel for his service, for his mercy endure forever. Number 23, who re re remembered us in our lowest state for his mercy endure forever. God remembers you. God sees you. God knows you. He knows the very hairs on your head. He sees your struggle sometimes. He sees your, 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 your needs. He sees your pain. He even feels your pain. God is a God that will remember you in your lowest states. Verse 23. We in Psalms 136, verse 23. The Bible says his mercy is this way. Number 24. He hath re uh, re redeemed us from our enemies. For his mercy endure forever. From our enemies, God is able to redeem you, pull you out of tough situations, pull you out of uh, situations where we need deliverance. God is able to do that. 25, he says, who giveth food to the flesh? For his mercy and do it forever. As we celebrate Thanksgiving this week, remember where it came from. Even before you get to Thanksgiving, every day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever it may be, the smallest of snacks, say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for providing. Thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy. Number 26, he says, Oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven for his mercy and do it forever. So again, there it is. The Psalm of Thanksgiving, Psalm of reminding us how good God is. Amen. And this week, take some time out to stop and say thank you. Thank you to the God of heaven, the only true and wise God, the only true mighty God that has covered you, that has kept you, that watches over you every day. And so we want to just share that with you to, to reflect on that and always be men and women that are willing to give thanks unto the Lord. Give thanks unto God for he is good. Hey Amen. God bless our prayer. We'll see you soon. Uh, we have a Thursday night online as well. Thanksgiving Day. And so, be the will of the Lord. We'll get a chance to do another broadcast. God bless our prayer. We'll see you soon.